Welcome back to Four on the Floor, our one year anniversary. It is. It is, it's a special day, but it's a very exciting day as well because Tim Tebow has joined our fair city as possibly a backup quarterback. And you're wearing a Milwaukee shirt for some reason. It's uh, to apologize to Milwaukee. I said that they didn't have internet last week. Yeah, apology accepted on behalf of Milwaukee. Tim Tebow, do you care to the Jets? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Um, you know, it's it's, it's going to be so fun. You know that. It's just it's just unavoidable. It's it's like uh, it's like trying to talk about oxygen at this point. Like, how do you feel about oxygen? Yeah, I need it. You know, like it's <laughs> it's I cannot avoid it. You just are you anti oxygen? No, I, okay. I should have used nitrogen. Nitrogen okay. would have been a better example. Good. That's a good. I kind of care because it's interesting to see how the Jets, who are kind of a train wreck of in and of themselves, how they're going to react to a very good person and good human coming to their midst. I have like fatigue about the story, just anticipating all the news about it. Like, yeah, I get that. Speaking of news fatigue. Yes. Lynn Sanity 2.0, since the uh, Knicks fired uh, Mike D'Antoni, they won five in a row, almost back to 500 and, uh, and moving their way up to uh, I believe. playoff position. I believe, like yes. angles in the outfield. <laughs> I believe five games in a row. It's cool because he is winning in a different system a little bit, that they've, they've tweaked the system to yeah. be more Carmelo friendly. And they're playing, friendly. they're playing good defense. They're playing good defense. They went to Philly last night, a team that's gonna be a, a top four seed in the, in the Eastern Conference they're only playoffs. three games back of Philly now. Three games back of Philly, so it's cool. Anytime that like actual top level basketball is played in New York, I think we have to pay attention. Yeah, it was, it's a big change of pace. Yes. All right, and now that we're a day removed from Sean Payton being suspended for a year, the GM being suspended for eight games, all sorts of fines, do you have any additional thoughts now that you've slept on this? And the story has evolved, of course, now with Warren Sapp, the esteemed journalist that he is, throwing Jeremy Shockey very far down under the bus for being the informant for the story. Yeah, uh, Warren Sapp is not an experienced journalist <laughs> uh, by calling Jeremy Shockey a snitch as he worked for the NFL's own network. Right. Um, it takes, first of all, uh, apparently, uh, a, he's wrong. Right. <laughs> if if <laughs> Jeremy Shockey is, is is at all in uh, in holding up, and but really, what's most impressive is that Warren Sapp actually made Jeremy Shockey a sympathetic figure. That has never happened throughout Jeremy Shockey's entire career. It takes somebody down that low, personality wise. You gotta you gotta be a real. <sighs> it's. It, I mean, it, we're basically talking about either Warren Sapp. He's like human garbage. Or like. A despot, <laughs> basically, at that point. I don't know why we called a former defensive tackle who would just tie us into pretzels des a despot, but it happens. Um, yeah, the other, the only other thing is Sean Payne's out about seven and a half million dollars. That's a, steep. That's a blow to the old bank account. Yes. If you're if you're dealing with injuries, you have to take a stand, I suppose, if you're Roger Goodell. Yeah. So. Um, Last up, uh, yes. I'm excited for this one. Spring training is happening. Spring training the, is the, happening. The, the, the eight month baseball season is almost upon us. Um, I'm gonna cut you off right there. That is all the time we have no, for today's show. Happy one year anniversary, by the way. Yeah, yeah, baseball is our, uh, uh, next week we'll get to we'll, it. Well, uh, eventually, we promise. By July, no later than July. <gasps> We're so dumb. This has been SB Nation. Of course, subscribe to the show and we'll see you soon.